Hey everyone, it's Julian. Today, I'm going to be showing you how Kwon Kun Sora makes his sick melodic hard techno bangers. As usual, you can get this full project file, samples, MIDI, presets, the entire template, the best one on the market for this style. I put a lot of time into this. It's all available at the top of the description on my website for just $5. It's a really great template and it's super accessible so you can make the best tracks of your life today. Everybody can get this and we can all learn and grow from this really great template. Link is at the top of the description. Also, for for my lessons, track finishing, and ghost production, definitely hit that up. It's an amazing deal, especially for the prices. You can really take your career to the next level. Link to both of these is at the top of the description. Thanks for the support, everybody, and let's dive in. All right, so we're at 140 BPM, and the first thing we got up here is a kick. So, this kick is made with three layers, all using the same sample, starting with the main punch. So this is a super hard kick I made in my hard drum, hard techno drum library. You see, it's just super punchy. It's got those right frequencies. You know, you really don't want to do too much processing. You want to just get a kick like this that's just really going to hit already. And then we're layering it with this. Which is the same kick, shortened a lot, high-passed, distorted to make it like super punchy, and then high-passed again. And when you layer those on top of each other, It gives you this like perfect super punchy kick and this is really the way to do it You know if you're gonna make like a layered kick like this where it's a punch layer and then kind of like a click layer Try using the same sample and just processing it because it's gonna get a lot cleaner You know you're not gonna have any problems with phase or any kind of weird stereo stuff happening It's just like gonna sit perfectly together And then we have the rumble Which is made with the same kick what we're doing I'll turn off all the effects so it starts over here with the kick and with an arpeggiator. So we're taking the kick, I'm taking this part in the middle where it's a bit more bassy, and we're playing 16 notes with the arpeggiator, right? It's the same MIDI as the other kicks, and then we're low passing that, putting it through a bit of reverb that's really short. Band passing it, which is actually the secret. A lot of people think it's a low pass filter, which sometimes that works, but if you band pass it, you get a more airy, kind of like deep bass. Right? You can hear the low pass is just a bit muddy. And then we're side chaining that to this little side chain up here. And then another EQ, cutting out the sub frequencies that you wouldn't really hear that would just kind of add a lot of like weight and muddiness to your mix. We're cutting that out and we're also cutting out the highs. So you just get this nice rumbly bass, you put that underneath the other kicks. And then for the whole group, we've got, I'll turn off all the effects. So we got a little bit of drum bus, only at 32%, but it's just adding a bit of punch and fullness. High pass, cutting out those sub frequencies again, just really cleaning this up. And then we're converting everything to mono. Then we have our main hi-hat. Also from my hard techno drum library, just a nice super full sounding hi-hat. Just put right at the top of the mix so it sits on there. We have some rave loops. So we have two grooves. We got this one. But you can see it's high pass and side chain. It's really more in the high end. And then we have this one. And what I'm doing here is actually a new technique where you take three of these actually. And you have one just playing this first quarter note, one playing the second quarter note, and then one that kind of rocks out to the end of the bar. And you can hear that creates a really nice groove that you don't get when you just use one loop. And when you put it with these other elements, It creates a great, really animated and alive drum groove. And then those are just being side chain and high pass. Then we have the clap. So this is one of those ones where you take a clap, right? And then you're going to distort it. So it becomes that. But then the secret is there's reverb into the distortion. I've actually seen his projects in some pictures where he does this. And what happens is you just put the dry wet at like 9%. But when you put it at a really low percentage and then distort it, it brings out the reverb a lot more.
Then we just have this ride, just a nice like 909 ride. And that's the whole drum groove. Then we have the respace. So this is a pretty simple chord progression. We're in the key of D sharp minor, so we're going root note, sixth, minor, third. It's actually almost exactly like just a basic D sharp minor chord, except usually that would be the fifth, this A sharp. But by putting this on the sixth, it sounds a bit more chaotic and apocalyptic. And then up here, we're just using another root note and that same minor third that you see over here just to kind of create some cool little like movement at the end of the bar. Now, this reese bass is a bit more detailed than your standard reese to really get this sound. I think you need a bit of layering. What we're doing is we've got, so we've got this layer, this layer, and then the secret operator layer. So the first one is analog. It's two saw waves detuned with a low pass. Pretty standard Reese stuff, but then we are putting unison, chorus, and a bit of overdrive on it. So just straight out of the synth. And then with the effects, you can hear it creates this nice stereo layer. Then we have one right down the center, just two detuned saw waves. Simple, but it gives it some, like, fullness. And when you put those together, you get something really nice and full. But then the last layer with operator over here. You can hear it gives it that nice kind of like crunchy mid-range and high end. And so this is FM with some sine waves. Actually very simple. But the secret here is for one, the first oscillator is an octave up. So you're kind of getting this crazy like warped sound. And also there's a bit of detuning. Then we have a low pass filter with a hard shaper, which does a lot if I turn that off. See what I mean? So we've got that. Then those are all going into this amp. Here's without it. With it. So it really makes these sound full. And also kind of glues them together a bit. We're side chaining it, and then we're just cutting out the low so that it still fits with the kick. And then we have the lead. So the secret to this is, again, we're in the key of D-sharp minor, but there's actually very, no D-sharps in the lead, ironically. We're really playing around the fifth here, right? We're going fifth up to the minor third and the ninth, and we're kind of playing around with those voices, and then here we get a little fourth, and also a minor third down here. But because you have the bass obviously very clearly establishing that D-sharp minor, That's what makes this work. So try having like your Reese bass really like define the chord progression and then have this play different notes in that scale. And you don't even have to hit the root note. You can create something very interesting without that. And then it's also the rhythm, like how that <laughs> kind of bounces off of the drums, right? So this is FM with some sine waves. The secret is it's like a bit detuned. Like if I put it out of the detuning, it's a bit too flat, right? That detuned FM. Gives you that crazy lead that sounds a bit apocalyptic. We got a low pass filter down a little bit so it's not so sharp. Kind of a bit more ravey and it fits better in the mix. We've got a bit of echo and chorus. And then we have this amp. So here's without this. With it, it's only at 20%, but it adds a really nice crunchy layer to kind of bring this out a bit and make it something a bit more unique. And also, this helps to make it not just like, we're trying to make not just that same old trance lead that we've heard so many times. Then we have a bit of reverb, side chain, and a high pass filter, and that's it for the lead. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get this full project file, samples, 
Nitty presets. Everything from this track is available at the top of the description on my website. Definitely go grab that. It's a really accessible, affordable template at just $5. You can get the best hard techno template on the market. And I promise if you grab this today, your tracks is going to be like night and day. You're going to make way better tracks immediately. You can also get a lesson from me or a track finishing or a ghost production job. The link for that is at the top of the description as well. Again, all of this is a great value. Take your career to the next level. Get where you've been wanting to get in 2023. Thank you so much for the support, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.